Guys, breaking up with your old wireless provider just got a whole lot easier thanks to Mint Mobile. They were the first company to sell premium wireless service online only. And now Mint Mobile is introducing their unlimited data plan for just 30 bucks a month. All plans come with unlimited talk and text and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all existing contacts. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven day money back guarantee to get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 30 bucks a month and to get the plan shipped to your door for free go to mintmobile.com slash advice that's mintmobile m-i-n-t mobile.com slash advice to cut your unlimited wireless bill to 30 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash advice Okay, guys, if you have hit a wall with your dinner meal plans, HelloFresh is here and it offers convenient delivery right to your doorstep for easy home cooking with the family. The recipes are easy to follow and quick to make with simple steps and pictures to guide you along the way. And they have something for everyone, whether you're low calorie vegetarian, even kid friendly recipes. Also the packaging HelloFresh uses to ship your food is almost entirely made from recyclable and or already recycled content. HelloFresh is committed to making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever and has taken extra steps to keep its employees and customers safe, including contactless delivery, proof packaging and team member wellness checks. Their recipes are also just delicious. I personally would recommend the pork flauta supreme. Enjoy America's number one meal kit and go to hellofresh.com forward slash advice 80 and use code advice 80 to get a total of $80 off across five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. Again, guys, go to HelloFresh.com forward slash Advice80, that's A-D-V-I-C-E, and use code Advice80 to get a total of $80 off across five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. So, Ash, Mm -hmm. I got a Halloween fact for you. You have a Halloween fact. Yes. I love a fun Halloween fact. Yes. Um, Some Halloween rituals used to involve finding a husband. Oh, which we could what? use. <laughs> During the 18th century, ladies would follow traditions that would help them find a match. According to history.com, women would throw apple peels over their shoulder, hoping to see their fir- their future husband's initials complete uh. competitively bob for apples at parties because the winner would be the first to get married. Is that where that stems from? I don't know. Bobbing for apples. But apparently it helps. So, um, we this will be taking we'll be having a, a, <laughs> a dozen apples each. Thank you, sir, at Trader Joe's. There will be a bobbing <laughs> party at our place. I'm going to give me a man. Find your husband. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> everyone welcome back to unsolicited advice i'm ashley i'm taryn and uh this is the podcast where you guys send in stories that you want advice on that you want help with that you want us to like guide you through however everything changes in october yep this is october series which means you guys send in strictly scary spooky stories for us to simply just read for pure enjoyment yes (laughs) we might give you some advice but honestly Probably not. It's more like we go into mm-hmm. the story with you. Like we're physically there with you. It's an experience. Yeah. It's an experience is what it or is. We're mentally there. Um, we do this. This is our second year. Yeah. In a row. You guys loved it last year. So we're doing it again this year. Um, if you haven't, if you were listening to this episode and you didn't listen to the episode before, I highly recommend you pause this one. Yes. It was a good one. Put a pin in it. Just like pause, go back to the app, play the first one, and then come back to this one. It really, it's not necessary, but it just adds to the... But it's so good. Yeah, it's really good. And it's I, so good. It, they're, like the stories aren't connected, but like it's just better to go in that order, yeah. right? Yeah, because it's like you, you get the excitement. Also, we are in costumes in the first episode and we probably will be in the other ones, but we're not in our costumes for this week's promo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not even, let's not even give We're not even going to tell you why. You got to go check out our promo. Go check out our promo video. You'll know why. The second you see it, you'll be like, mm. Honestly, yeah. we should have tried because it would have been hilarious. It would have just been like, Pfft. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would have been really bad. Um, but you guys, Taryn and I always go full out on our promo videos. Yeah. If you are uh, listeners of ours and you have been for a while, then you already know this. But uh, we put up a pretty good one last time. However, you guys called me out mm-hmm. and I appreciate it. 
They called you out? Mm-hmm. I had multiple, multiple people that follow me, follow the Instagram, our podcast Instagram, tell me that I spelled unsolicited advice wrong at the very end slate. And I do want to say, <laughs> I do want to say, I can't spell, period. This has been a problem my whole life. But I also had multiple people watch this video. I was going to say that's just as much on me because I didn't notice it. And I will admit I I, I made it at like midnight. (laughs) So I was tired. (gasps) However, I did show so many people and no one caught it. No one caught it. No one. I forgot the in. So it says a solicited. A solicited. Like I don't even know. (laughs) And I like did not even notice. But I had multiple people be like, you forgot the end. You forgot the end. And I was just like, damn it, Ashley. You know, I feel like you have (laughs) definitely, honestly, people who have been listening to this podcast from the beginning. Oh, they know. You've grown though in your confidence to just be like, I can't spell. Yeah. It's my and thing. Honestly, you know? you know, I think it's become a fun game for a lot of my followers on my channel <laughs> yeah, to just catch constantly it? catch like what did Ashley spell wrong this time? Because it happens constantly. And it's one of those things where I it doesn't matter what I do. I've tried I'll read it out loud, I'll read it slowly, I'll do it a few times, and I'll still miss some. Yeah. Spelling's hard, dude. You caught me the other day. Yeah, How it's, a, that it's a rare thing. It felt felt great. It felt great. That's what I'm like. This is what most people feel like on a daily basis. <laughs> Makes me so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped for these today. Mm, well, I don't too. know what yours are, but um, I the other day I was home alone, and I was like, "What am I going to do with all this time? Like, I should be productive." So I was like, "I'm just going to read through stories." Like, mm. I was posted up in my room, like had candles on, movie in the background. It was the worst thing I could have ever done because especially home alone I was like Mm -mm. by the end of like three stories I like dead bolted my room door because I was just like I'm terrified right now (laughs) no one's here no one's gonna be here for hours it puts you on edge 100% it's scary so I'm pumped this one definitely got me this one got me too I feel like I feel like in general we get a lot of more like real life situations Mm-hmm. mine's a little a little out there this time mine too <gasps> mine too seriously really yeah well Ooh. I have I have because wow you guys like came at us saying our episode was too short last time yeah <laughs> which yep. like I loved that that you're like hey we get so many people that are like we want two episodes a week we want like multiple mm-hmm. stories mm-hmm. and like <laughs> Y'all got to give us a little bit of a break, but like, honestly, I was like, okay, okay. Like we'll give you a little bit. If this ever becomes a full-time thing, then maybe we can do that for you. You know what? Instead of coming at us next time, how about you send this podcast to 10 of your closest friends so that we can blow up. You do that. Then. And then we'll get you. We will give you as many episodes as you want. (laughs) If we we can cut out Taryn's full-time job. Yeah. This can happen, guys. That's our goal. Whoa. Okay. So good. Um, I think we should just jump in. I feel like we should just dive in. That's what everyone wants to hear. They don't want to hear about how we're doing. Should I, maybe I'll do my short one, then you can go, and then I'll save my freaking okay. juicy one yeah, yeah. for the she, end. Taryn has been telling me for a few days now that she has a juicy, juicy, it, scary story. You know it's a good story when it makes you question everything you've ever believed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was, the whole time reading, I'm like, I don't believe in this stuff. I don't believe in this stuff. I don't believe in this. Like, I was just like, just no. constantly telling yourself it's not real. It's not real. Yeah. It's not real. It, and it's one of those stories that like the very end, you're like, shut up. Oh, like, you know what I yes. mean? It's good. It's Live good. for this. I'm so stuff. excited. Okay. So <laughs> I'll start with my short one. Yeah. Okay. 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 Ah, uh, this is fun. So excited. Okay. So this is from, I can say her name, Hope. And Hello, she Hope. writes in, hi, Taryn and Ashley, I'm Hope, and I love your podcast. I would love for you to read this story, even if it's not on the pod. I love that when yeah. you guys send stories and you're like, legit, like this helped me and it'd be cool if you read it because it's entertaining. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to be on the pod, but oh, Charles, we have all the dogs cuddling with us. Okay. All right. This story is from my friend's mom. It's not too spooky, but a little creepy. Let's begin. (laughs) Let's begin. Let's begin. My story takes place in a college dorm quite a few years ago. My friend's mom, we'll call her Amanda, was 23 at the time. Her roommates and her were living on on their own off campus and thriving. 
There were three girls and they weren't dating anyone. <laughs> Can relate. It was a great day. They were all at home vibing and thriving and Amanda noticed something strange. Her clock was gone. She lived with three of her best friends, so they might have moved it to be funny. She asked them and no one knew where it went. She found it the next day where it originally would have been. A few weeks later, she smelled something. It was a strong men's cologne. Amanda had no boyfriend. Her roommates didn't either. And then they started noticing food was going missing. The water bill was higher than ever before. And she looked for a bottle of cologne thinking one of her roommates might have just bought it out of loneliness. (laughs) I mean, <laughs> I literally I, just bought a candle. That I was going to say, I do that with candles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so good. Um, also, if, if any of you guys know anyone that you, we should hook Taryn up with. Or Ash. <laughs> we could both, we'll do an episode where we sell each other. <laughs> that way it's not awkward for me to gas myself up. You Still know? single. Still single. Okay. The next week, her pillow had a black hair on it. No. It was short and smelled of the cologne. (gasps) None of her roommates had short black hair. At this point, Amanda told her roommates about these strange occurrences and they've, you know, started talking about it. No one had called the police yet. About four months after, they were tired of the shenanigans and the cologne smell. Four months. That's a long time. Four months. I would have been like, "Mm, I'm out that day. (laughs) I'm out. They called the police And the police end up finding a 30-year-old man (gasps) with black hair and strong cologne living in the basement of their house. Oh! What? (laughs) What? I hate this. I have full body. I have goosebumps on my leg. I hate this so much. Hope. Girl, don't do us dirty like this. He admitted that he had been snatching the girl's belongings and putting them back and also admitted he had been living in their house for over six months. <gasps> oh, ab- oh, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Whoa. I'm done. Free- yeah. First of all, first of all, what? <laughs> Basements. 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 This is the second situation Fill where with cement. <laughs> a grown man has been hiding in yeah. a basement. Yeah. Nope. Oh my God. There needs to be, there needs, we, <laughs> I don't even, I'm so dumb. But I get it, right it now. because there's no way I'm going, if I had a basement, if we had a basement in this house, there's no way I'm going down there for anything. Yeah. And same with our attic, like no way. Yeah. So if someone were to just be staying there, like it's not unheard of that Oof. they wouldn't just notice. Oof. But the like whole something smells in here that's not like that for me, like, and I'm too much of a like crime junkie fanatic, but I would have been like, I need someone here. Like Absolutely someone needs not. to check this out. Oh my God. My, um, so I'm Taryn and I both, but I'm from born and raised in Southern California. Yeah. We don't have basements. Like it's not no. a thing. Um, it's not necessary is what yeah. it is. Um, so I don't, I don't really, I don't really have any experience with them. However, my grandparents, um, lived in Illinois and they had a basement and they had a very nice basement. Like it was carpeted. There was a TV down there. Yeah. There was a very small window, but still like a window, yeah. um, that was, you know, really high at ground level. Um, and I remember like we would always have to sleep there whenever we spent the night at their place and I would get chills yeah. just being down there. And it's not even a scary basement. Like it was more yeah. like a living room yeah. than a basement. Um, but still there's something like mentally, like it just gets, it gets you. It's and I don't know what happens. It, it's just a bit, it's a basement, you know? So, um, oof, oof. I, oh, I know. also I have a friend who lives in Hollywood who has a basement. She just moved maybe like a year ago oh, and she has a basement and she opened it and like turned on the light. And she was like, I'm not going to lie. This, this basement gives me chills and I would not go down there. <laughs> No, I was like, I no, would, I'm yeah. not going and I won't do it. <laughs> Literally the only basement that's ever had appeal for me is Eric Foreman's from that 70s show. Yeah, yeah. That's where they all hang out and it's The shag cool. carpet. Yeah, but no, that's a no for me. Oof, it's a no yeah. for me. Like I could find my dream home someday and if it has a basement, I'm gonna be like, I can't. I can't do it. Well, it's like, if it has a basement, there's, I feel like there's things you could do. 
lock it. My husband like, could make turn it, it to his man cave. Well, you could turn it into anything, yeah. but like you should have, have some kind of like yeah. system so that you can know for a fact yeah. if someone got in because yep. they clearly had to like break the yep. lock or whatever. Was it last week's story? Yeah. The guy was, yeah, yeah. no. Basements are a no. <laughs> Basements are a hard no. Okay, anyways. Yeah. So <laughs> there's my first short one. Um, Start thank off you, with Hope, a bag. Yeah, that. dude, that, that was, was insane. So good. I cannot imagine a house full of girls. No. No. Constantly smelling no. a man, finding hairs, missing Every things. Every time I smell cologne, six now I'm going to be like. months. Six months. Oof. Yep. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yep. Also, that, that, that exact reason is why you have a dog. It would, yeah. it would not happen in this house. Because I'm sure there were slight noises that, you know how your brain kind of like, when I first moved in, I was very like, what was that? What was that? Because my I wasn't used to the sounds of this, this house. Also, our house makes a lot of noise. Yeah. All but houses make noises. I but- don't hear it. Or or if one does catch my attention, I very quickly can be like, oh, that was this, this, whatever. Yeah. But, you know, I'm sure they had heard little sounds. Mm-hmm. I'm sure mm-hmm. there were close calls where they came home and he was still upstairs Oof. you know what i mean Oof. that's why you have always a have dog. a dog a dog like my dachshund would have just the second someone entered the house yeah. she would have freaked out she would have known you know even charlie who like literally couldn't hurt anyone yeah he will he'll bark if he hears a noise that's unfamiliar yeah and a lot of times that will alert me like oh and without fail like two seconds later the doorbell will ring or yeah. something yeah yeah so it's yeah you just guys get a dog cement Lock your basement your basements that's all we have to say. Problem There's solved. There's our advice for this week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know about you, but if you've ever jumped from like one plan to a new plan, one provider to another provider, it's hell. It's frustrating. It gets very messy. Um, But there is a hero today that can save you time and money, and it is Mint Mobile. They're the first company to sell premium wireless service online only. Have you asked yourself what you're paying for? Mm. Have you really broken down the receipts Mm. and been like, huh, I feel like I'm being taken advantage of? Honestly, our money goes to so many things that I think we don't question. I think we're blinded. I don't think we look anymore. (laughs) Open your eyes, people. For people that hate their phone bill and are ready to cut ties with big wireless, Mint Mobile offers their premium unlimited plan for just 30 bucks a month. By going online only and eliminating your traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes significant savings on to you. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your phone number along with all your existing contacts. Oh. And if you are not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven day money back guarantee hello guys get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 30 bucks a month that's right 30 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free go to mintmobile.com slash advice that's mint m-i-n-t mobile.com slash advice to cut your unlimited wireless bill to 30 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash advice so me and Ash are big documentary fans, mm-hmm. and I don't know if you guys have seen the documentary that everyone's talking about, The Social Dilemma. Mm-hmm. It like changed everything for us. We were freaking out because basically in the documentary, tech insiders explain how social media is engineered to exploit users' data for profit. Oof. Mm -mm -mm. Basically, they call it surveillance capitalism and tech billionaires are just, you know, getting all our data and getting richer and richer. For free. For free. That's the worst part. I know. And that's why we are so excited to partner with ExpressVPN so we can put a layer of protection around our data. Guys, every time you use the internet, big tech companies mine, that's right, mine your data by tracking your searches, messages, and video history. We are telling you this for your protection, people. Yep. We need to protect ourselves from the big man. <laughs> the big man. <laughs> when you run ExpressVPN on your device, It hides your IP address, which websites can use to personally identify you. It's basically your like internet social number um, that makes your activity more difficult to trace and sell to advertisers. So this is like your, your, mm, what's the word? 
force field. <laughs> this is your invisible force field for your online presence. <laughs> That's all I was trying to say. <laughs> um, you still need to be careful with what you share on social media, of course, but ExpressVPN can make your web browsing more anonymous. 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 Um, ExpressVPN also encrypts 100% of your internet data to keep you safe from hackers and prying eyes. Guys, whatever you're doing, stop what you're doing and get ExpressVPN. So if you do not like the idea of tech companies exploiting your personal information, visit expressvpn.com slash advice right now and you can get three extra months of ExpressVPN for free. That's express, E-X-P-R-E-S-S, vpn.com slash advice to protect your data. Go to expressvpn.com slash advice to learn more. I'm like super vibing with our setup today. Uh, we have the camera that we have set up has one of those flip out screens. So you can see yourself, which is imperative. So we know, you know, how good we look. <laughs> <laughs> how good. Um, I'm glad it's far away and I'm yeah. tiny because I'm bumming it today. Um, it's like super gloomy outside. Finally, for the first time in LA and we lit a candle. I have my little like salt rock glowing and it feels all vibey in here and I like it. Yep. Super into it. Okay. Super into it. I'm going to go ahead and get into my story. This is from Ella. She said that I could say her name. So hello, Ella. Hi, Ella. <laughs> Sorry. It was like so late. <laughs> she begins. First of all, I just want to say how much I love you guys and your podcast slash YouTube channels. I've been listening from the very beginning and I'm so glad to say that your podcast has helped me out so much. Aww. I love the positive attitudes you display towards life and your bubbly and friendly personalities. I really feel as though you guys are my best friends. That's cute, Ella. You know, one day, guys, when this world gets back on track, oh, seriously, we cannot wait to plan like some kind of like meet and greet situation so that we can hug you yeah. in person and actually like talk in person. Obviously, post Corona, yeah. <laughs> but like, can't wait for that or day. Like someday, like a live show again if you get us famous. But like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I just want to tell stories and like look at you and mm -hmm. like hear you guys laughing with mm -hmm. us because we do feel like you're with us just like you feel like we're with yeah. you so but again we gotta so we, we gotta make this full time so do you make do this your part time. guys 10 people do it <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, we digress that's, yeah. that's the last time we're gonna say that <laughs> anyway i do not want to drag this email on because my story is quite long i hope you enjoy it this story is one that happened to my father years ago 25 years ago, my father had moved in with his dad to save some money so that he could put a deposit on a house. He previously had had conversations with his dad and brother, therefore accumulating some background knowledge on the strange encounters that his dad and brother had experienced in this house. Ugh. In the house, there had been a cuckoo clock and an old one that had not been wound in many, many years. My uncle found that during his stay, the clock would chime every night at eight o'clock. Strange, I know. My grandfather, years later, was lying asleep in bed, and in the dead of the night, he awoke, startled by yelling and shouting emerging from the end of the dark hallway. No. Nope. The voices were aggressive and loud. However, they were incoherent, and it was difficult to decipher what they were saying. Even more years later, shortly after my father had moved into the house, more unexplained occurrences took place. With the prior knowledge my dad had had of the incidents, he decided to provoke these so-called spirits by yelling silly remarks such as, if you're gonna stay in our house, could you at least wash my dishes and do the ironing? That sounds like such a dad thing. Yeah. <laughs> he would soon come to the realization later that this in fact was a terrible idea. This is when these, what you could almost call paranormal experiences started to take place. Firstly, my father would hear the stereo blaring in the nearby living room. Oh, God. Turn it down, my grandfather would yell. My dad was never in the living room when this happened. He never turned the stereo on, and this happened repeatedly. Routinely, on a Friday night, my father would drive to the local pub with his close friends. He was the designated driver, as he did not drink at the time, which makes these things so much scarier, just like the last story we read, right? Yeah, because, like... Yeah, if you're like... If you're stone cold sober. <laughs> then you're like, I can't make sense of it. How but do you if you have it? alcohol in your system, you're like, oh yeah, like I was I'm just out just of it. just drunk. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, um, that particular Friday night, my grandfather was at his girlfriend's, so my father returned to an empty home. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nah. He came home at 1 a.m. through their back sliding door. 
their cat was outside waiting for him, looking quite distressed and acting strangely. Normally, when my dad pulls open the door, the cat would normally run straight inside before my dad even had a chance to walk through. However, this time, he would not. He would not step into the house until my father had done so. This was the first odd odd occurrence of the night. As he walked into the house, his hand reaching to flick on the hallway light, to his surprise, the light bulb blew. Thinking nothing of it, my dad made his way to the laundry room. As soon as he flicked the switch in the laundry room, the light bulb blew. Nope, I'm out. Leaving my father in the darkness once again. Mm -mm. At this point, he noticed the cat searching erratically around the room. His head was spinning around in frantic motions. She puts in parentheses, almost as if he was searching for something. Because they say they can... I don't... (laughs) My dad quickly ran to the bathroom to turn on its light. Strangely enough, this light blew out as well. Mm -mm. Making his way to the bedroom, he switched on its light, and luckily that light did not blow. The cat leapt onto the bed, its head once again rolling around frantically as if he was searching for something, acting completely completely berserk. I couldn't say that. My dad amazingly kept calm and did not think much of the situation. Later that same night, he then decided it was a clever idea to jokingly provoke the unknown spirit. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> yelling things like you still haven't done my washing. And I think I think and I get the frustration, but I do think he's trying to he's trying to make light what's yeah. happening yeah. because in the end he's home alone and all this weird stuff's happening and I would probably do something like that too. I would either run or I would just be like it's nothing. No, it's just I literally, the electricity. The first light blow I'm like, I just be like, bye. Out, like, bye. Ashley, I'm coming to spend the night. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. She continues. At 3 a.m., my father was awoken by what he could only describe as strong hands grasping violently around his waist. What? What he described as being as like a bear hug. My father leapt up completely startled, his breath ragged and raspy his hands scrambling for the light switch. As the light flooded the room, he could make out the cat, again, standing strangely at the foot of the bed. The cat's head was circling the room as if it was watching something. My father had an anxious feeling shoot through him, hurriedly grabbed the cat and the car keys and immediately evacuated the house. Okay, finally. (laughs) That night was a night that my dad rarely spoke about until a few years later when my grandfather, who sold essential oils at the time, had a customer come to the house. The customer, before stepping into the house, came to a complete stop and said to my grandfather, there is an evil presence in this house. Bad things have happened here. This man had no knowledge of any of the occurrences that had happened in that home. Soon after, my grandfather had a spiritual cleansing and feng shui the house. A year after the cleansing, he sold the property and moved out. Sorry for the lengthy email. If you got this far, I just wanted to say thank you so much for reading my emails as it means a lot to me, even if you decide not to include it in your October series. Love you guys lots. Keep doing what you're doing. Elle from Australia. And she put, P.S. Here are some really cheesy dad jokes just for you, Darren. Oh, honored. So I just figured I'd, I'd go. You're going to read them? I'm yes, going to read them. Ash. What's a ghost's favorite meal? Something boo. Something. Spooketti. Spooketti. <laughs> what are you likely to find on a haunted beach? I don't know. <laughs> you? <laughs> a sandwich. Oh, my God. <laughs> <It's> a sandwich. <laughs> also, one for Ashley. Why didn't the coffee bean go to the Halloween party? Oh, you oh, read, read that. this. Yeah, we read this. Ah, that was funny. Because it was grounded. Grounded. <laughs> um, anyways, oh. Lord have la, mercy. La, 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 la. I feel like. I feel like I'm going to say some extra prayers tonight. The moral of these stories so far is to have an animal in your house at all times. Because Unless that it cat was knew. the cat. That cat knew. <laughs> yeah. What if it was the cat? The cat wasn't searching. It was casting spells. He was like, I'm going to trip this fool out. Let me just <laughs> I just I'm just picturing like, you know, I've seen enough scary movies. The cat's head just like rolling around like watching no. watching whatever's going on. But cats like I've seen a cat one time freaking straight up like flip its head and bite the back of its neck and I was like, yeah. "How does it do that?" So I can't even imagine how like terrifying. Just compl- it yeah, oof. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's terrible. Charlie's but- done that before where he's like stood and just like stared in a corner and I'm like, 
Uh, dear Lord Jesus, please come Ooh, into this room. I've surround had me. The same, I've had the same situation with like Chloe would hear noises. Chloe, Chloe's my like little Maltese. She's just like a little bit bigger than Charlie and same. Like she hears anything and she's like on alert. Um, and there's been a couple times where I've woken up and she was sitting at the edge of my bed, just staring. And I could not. No, it's <laughs> I was too, like, it's what are just you like, doing? what do you see? What it's you so see? unnerving. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I just want to say a quick PSA. Um, if you are watching our YouTube video, I am not petting my legs. Charlie is sitting in my lap and I just realized it's not in frame. So no. I'm not doing something weird. <laughs> That's <all>. no. <laughs> also watch our YouTube videos because hey. you can see us now. Guys, I cannot believe the holiday season is around the corner. I, I'm freaking out. We're halfway through October. November's around the corner, and then it's Christmas. There's and Christmas decor in the We're going to blink. We're going to blink. I feel like I have to start shopping now. Yeah. <laughs> freaking out about it. Um, the best thing that has ever happened to me happened very recently. Guys, I just recently found Zebit, which is basically online shopping, but has an amazing, amazing situation, especially for this year, where you can pay like in payments and That's i don't so cool. know about you guys but this year especially online shopping has become a thing like it was before and now it's a real thing and zebit has all the same products that you could find on any other website but for discounted prices and you can pay them in payments instead of full price which is the best possible plan for all christmas things that way you don't have to drop a huge lump sum at once you can slowly pay it off over time and keep your savings full <laughs> <laughs> that's always the goal with zebit you can shop thousands of products from your favorite brands and pay for them over time zebit gives you the option to pay just a portion of the price at checkout with the rest spread out over time and easy achievable payments with zebit there's no cost to join no hidden fees and no gotchas with flexible payment options and an amazing marketplace zebit is the best place to start the holiday shopping season and guys when when I say they have everything literally from like home decor to cookware gift cards we recently like needed a new apple tv they have apple tvs if you need a new beats by dre speaker to play music while you're just you know having your solo dance party at home solo dance they've party. got it they literally <laughs> have everything you can imagine with just the easiest way to get stuff Guys, get ahead on your holiday shopping and sign up on Zebit today at zebit.com slash advice. That's Z-E-B-I-T dot com slash advice. Again, that's zebit.com slash advice. Are you tired of the same old dinners? Are you running out of inspiration for cooking? Are all your meals starting to look the same? Is it kind of sad? <laughs> Guys, introducing HelloFresh, we have worked with them before in the past. We are working with them again, and we are so happy and excited to be sharing with you guys all of the fun, healthy foods that you can make in the convenience of your own home. HelloFresh is all about saving time, money, and stress, and being just effortless in the kitchen. They offer convenient delivery right to your doorstep for easy home cooking with family. The recipes are easy to follow and quick to make with simple steps and pictures to guide you along the way. That's one of my favorite things, Ash, like when you make it and it's like everything is divvied out exactly what you need and the pictures are so freaking cute. By the way, if you guys do look into this, they have a sweet soy glazed steak taco with spicy slaw, marinated cucumber and peanuts that is literally to die for. Made me feel so bougie cooking it. And also HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips so you can cook and enjoy and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. There's also something for everyone, including low calorie, vegetarian, kid friendly recipes, anything you need. And you can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. HelloFresh has also donated over 2.5 million meals to charity in 2019. And this year they're stepping up food donations to local communities amid the coronavirus crisis. Guys, enjoy America's number one meal kit and go to HelloFresh.com slash Advice80 and use code ADVICE80 to get a total of $80 off across five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. Again, go to HelloFresh.com forward slash ADVICE80 and use code ADVICE80 to get a total of $80 off across five boxes, including free shipping and your first box. 
Oh my gosh. I can't. I don't even want to read mine because this is just going to add to this fear. And yeah. this whole thing where I love to be like, this isn't real. You know, a lot of people ask me at my, you know, ripe old age of 30. They're like, Ashley, don't you ever want to like live, live on your own and, and, and do life on your own now? And I always tell them, I'm always like, I would love to, like half of me really wants to do that, to go get like a little place by myself. But I listen to too many things like this. Yeah. I watch too many movies like this. I don't think I could ever live in a place without someone. <laughs> it's like you wish you could live alone, but then the second it turns dark, your roommate shows up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then yeah, yeah, yeah. by the morning, they're gone. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I, I could, I, my, my mind my, and my imagination is way too crazy for me to, to live somewhere on my own. We should get apartments next to each other, like by the beach and then just we, but we sleep in yeah. the same apartment. Yeah. 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 And okay. 100% I'm having like a whole house full of dogs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I could not do it. Personal on security. A big one and a little one. Yeah. Okay. Should we just jump into the yes. next? Yes. Please, 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 okay. please. Okay. I've been hearing this is, uh, nothing. I'm like. Nothing but good things about this which story. Which I hope I like gas it up right. And you're um, not just like. I hope uh, you didn't ruin it for yeah, me. I'm so sorry. All right. Let me just make sure there's no anonymous plea. Take your time. I'll just sip my co- my latte over here. Yeah, we got coffee this morning because we were like, we need to get, we decided we were going to be like bummy. Like we're just like rolled out of bed and our like sweats and stuff. But we we're like, let's get coffee so we can like be in it. You yeah. know? <laughs> Tara was like, are you getting ready? In. I was like, mm-mm. No. I braided my hair for you guys and that's all I, that's I all did, I'm doing. I did nothing. I put on... <laughs> glasses to we're keeping we're face. keeping it realistic for you guys yep. none of this unrealistic beauty standards no no nah. this is real beautiful. this is raw every face is beautiful and no people don't wake up it. with highlight on their cheeks that's not real we let you could tell we miss like our <laughs> normal advice <We're> like, <laughs> let me just get into the issue <laughs> All right. Hi, Taryn and Ashley. Hey. My name is Catherine, and wow, do I have a story for y'all. Catherine. Yeah, you do, girl. Way to come through. Yeah, you do, girl. I just started listening to y'all's podcast, and I am here for this. Love that. We love... I get so excited when there's new listeners yeah. because obviously our freaking day ones, you'll always be like our freaking crew, our fam. Um... But it's exciting because then it's like, oh my gosh, like new people are still finding us. Like we're not like, oh, we have a podcast and we just have this like small family. It's like growing and that's Mm -hmm. so exciting. It's so exciting. So love that you found us. Um, Anyway, my best friend, coincidentally, also also, also named Catherine, told me I should email y'all with my spooky story. (gasps) So here we go. We need to give a shout out to the other Catherine who told Catherine to write in her story. And you need to, like, if you have a friend who's told you a story, we're running out of time. So, like, do it soon. We're halfway through. Like, hey, like, I'll help you write it. Like, just send it in. Also, I haven't talked to Taryn about this. Oh, no, why? But I read so many comments from you guys saying that we should do a bonus episode on Halloween. Oh, so maybe that's something that can happen if y'all show up with the stories. Hey, Mark, if you're listening, we've got an extra episode coming your way. <laughs> that could happen. Oh my gosh. I'm no guarantees, down. but like could happen. I'm kind of down. I'm kind of down too. These are just so like, even if you don't believe in this stuff, like it's just fun to be spooky. Like scariness is just fun. It's literally just like we're watching a scary movie. Yes. Okay. You know how, oh, here we go. You know how you have imaginary friends when you're little? Yes. And the name always changes. Like you have multiple growing up. Well, mine didn't. Mine was always named Georgia. 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 Some background. When I was two years old, I, my mom, my aunt, and dad moved to Fairfield, Connecticut, so mom could do her PhD internship at Yale. Wow. Uh, Love it, mom. Brilliant woman. Okay. Dad still worked in North Carolina, so he would fly up every weekend to be with all of us. We lived in this old, creaky house that had only been half renovated. My room was in the old part of the house. I had bunches of little stuffed animals and dolls scattered around my room. When mom and my aunt would ask me what each one's name was, I would respond, Georgia, for each toy. Except for one single baby doll, his name was Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) 
Girl, this is Georgia. Jesus was protecting you. This is Georgia. This is Georgia. This is Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) Then, during the night, Mom and Sally, each with a baby monitor in hand, would meet outside my bedroom door because they had been hearing sounds of a party coming from my room. What? Glasses clinking, music playing, people laughing, the whole nine yards. They would swing my door open and it would be dead silent. Oh, 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 I got chills again. (laughs) Me too. Okay. Oh my God. My dad didn't believe them until he heard the noises for himself through the baby monitor in my parents' bedroom. Sometimes mom and my aunt would hear what sounded like pounding as if someone was running up and down the stairs. Dad moved my aunt and I home while mom finished her internship. Georgia had become a running joke between the three of them. Mom still would wake up in the middle of the night hearing what sounded like footsteps on the stairs until one night she yelled, Georgia, enough. Mom never heard another sound. <gasps> I want to cry. I'm crying a little. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, I, see. Okay, I can't read. Um, <laughs> fast forward a few months and dad, an attorney, was doing legal work with the couple buying our house in Connecticut. They, for some reason, asked if anybody had died in our house. Apparently in California, that is something you must disclose. You have to, yeah. Oh, if um, built before a certain year. So dad started re- doing some research. Apparently, in my bedroom. I'm not. Oh my God. In the oldest part of the house, built in 1920, a little girl, about seven or eight years old, had died. And her name? Stop. Freaking Stop. Georgia. Stop. Oh! <laughs> I can't. I can't read this. Oh my God. I'm scared. How do I? What? She knew. They they had, they like interacted somehow. Somehow. <gasps> Some freaking how. Every toy she had was named Georgia. Georgia. And then when the mom yelled, Georgia, that's enough. She never heard. She listened. She obeyed. Yeah. Cause she was a little girl. <laughs> I'm done. <sighs> so that's the famous... Georgia story. The first time I told this story to my group of college best friends, I was also wearing a University of Georgia t-shirt oh that God. read Georgia. So I really <laughs> freaked them out. <laughs> They're like, are you Georgia? They were like, wait, what's your middle name? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'd love for y'all to share this story. I think it's hilarious and a little quite frankly creepy. If not, I hope it makes you laugh a little bit. Also, I apologize. This is so long. No, not at all. I wasn't, no. You can always cut it down. I hope all is well and y'all are staying safe, happy, and healthy during the best of times. Love, Catherine. Catherine. (laughs) I cannot. I can't. Oh, my. Ever, I mean, there's so many, there are so many scenarios playing in my head right now about how she must have been t- not talking, but like connected to Georgia at some point Yeah, for her to name all of her toys, Georgia. Yep. Like that wasn't, and an, that's, yeah. that's not a coincidence. No. And like oh little kids God. have the most powerful imagination yeah so you know and we all have done it so it makes sense why like um you know what I mean like she didn't think anything different she probably grew out of it like all of us like I can't think back I remember playing pretend and I always was either a spy or a princess right and a princess (laughs) locked in a house being like hidden from the world that's what I always like yeah I think that's that's a common every girl Yeah. yeah And I would like have conversations with different people and mm-hmm. do all this stuff, but I can't remember like specifically like seeing something or, you know what I mean? I never saw anything now, no. but like, thank God. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. How, I don't know if I would handle it well, you know? Yeah. Um, and like those, that little realization, I I mean, that would change. That would change. Oh, that I'm would affect me now. so much. I'm, I'm so sorry that you had to experience that. 
Um, but at the same time, so grateful that you wrote it in. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I feel a lot of emotions for you right now. I'm like, that's terrifying, but like, thanks for, <laughs> for yeah. writing it for us because yeah. that was a good story. That honestly is like a, a movie plot line. No, seriously. It's terrifying. I would, if I were you, get that written up into yeah. a script and sell that baby. <laughs> and they'll make it like super crazy. And they'll like, make it even crazier, yeah. but like, that's your story, you know? It's and you, terrifying. <laughs> you can sell that stuff. It'd oh be interesting God. to know like other families who lived in the house, if they had similar have you ever with their kids. Have you ever had friends or anyone have any kind of like weird? I don't think so. Not that I know of. I mean, the only, there's been a couple, because when I was a preschool teacher, there was this one kid who I was like terrified of him. Mm -hmm. Like every time his mom would drop him off, I'd be like, have a great day. And I'd be like, oh my God, go play. <laughs> like, yeah. Cause he used to like in the middle of circle time, he would just like stare up at the ceiling and I would be like, what are you looking at? And he'd be like, a magic beaver is coming through the ceiling. Like he would say like weird stuff like that. And I was like terrified of him. Cause I'm like, what is he seeing? You know, yeah. but I've, I haven't had like a personal, like where parents have been weirded out with their kids or like people thought they were haunted or yeah. like nothing really. So when I hear these stories, I'm like, no, like it's you know. easy to say it's not. Yeah. Yeah. I only had one. And it wasn't, it wasn't me necessarily. I was staying at a friend's house, but I remember my, the friend that I was saying, this is, this is a long time ago. I was very young. Um, my mother was speaking with her mother and I remember, um, her mom saying, I don't think they thought I was listening. Yeah. A lot of my life. I think people don't think I'm listening, You, yeah. <laughs> but I'm always listening. Yeah. And she was saying that, um, my friend was going through this weird, like she was very, uh, artistic. She loved poetry. And so she was writing a lot of poetry at the time. And, um, I How guess old? Mm, maybe like fifth grade. Okay. Uh, and I guess her poetry was becoming like very dark. Oof. And like, uh, obviously like we all go through phases. <laughs> You yeah. know, so it's hard to, to say like, is this serious or not? You know, but I guess the poetry just happened to be a little bit dark. Well, um, my mom was like, oh, okay, well like, you know, keep me updated, you know, I'll, you know, let me know like what's going on or whatever. Didn't make any serious yeah. thing out of it. I spent the night at her house that night. She has an older brother and, um, we were all like joking around and talking and we were on edge. Me and my friend decided to like stay up super late one night and we were kind of just talking about like stories and stuff and hers just happened to be scary which kind of goes makes sense with like the phase that she was in at yeah, that time yeah. um but she told me that she heard chains at night like all the time ew, ew, ew. and I remember thinking oh it's probably your brother playing yeah. games on you and she was like I don't know like I've gotten up once and everyone was asleep and I didn't see anything mm. and I'm not lying when I say I woke up in the middle of the night and I heard chains what yeah and Ashley. I never once in my life, never again, did I ever hear anything, see anything whatsoever. But I thought for sure, I told myself that it was her brother. Yeah. But that was the first and last time I ever had any Ew, kind of experience. I hate that so I'm going to knock on some wood right now. Please do. <laughs> for all of our sake. <laughs> but that's the only um, crazy experience I ever had yeah. with anything like that. I still, to this day, like I never got up. I'm too much of a scaredy cat. Um, so I just told myself it was her brother and I went back to bed. Yeah. Um, but I remember like waking up, freaking out. She was fast asleep and I was like, it's him. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> just it's go him. back it's to him. sleep. I was like, he's You're playing, so he's trying to yeah. creep us out. Like, mm -hmm. and he's like, he was that age, you yeah. know? So I was like, oh, he's just playing games with us. And I told myself to go back to sleep. And that was the first and last time anything ever happened. I hate it. I know. I hate it. I hate all of this. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Because <laughs> tis the season. <laughs> tis the season. Tis the season. Uh, oh, man. I feel like we need a we need a dad joke. We need a few dad jokes. All right. Ready? Dad, some joke? dad jokes? Dad joke this time. This sounds funny. I feel like if you... Never mind. I'm not going to... <laughs> when does Dracula respond to the name Daniela? <laughs> when? Yeah. <laughs> When he's dressed drag. <laughs> <laughs> when that's kind of funny. <laughs> that is funny. That is, that's good, girl. When he's at Starbucks. Because <laughs> <laughs> they always Cause they get the name wrong. wrong. Yeah, What's like the weirdest thing you've been, you've gotten on a cup? I've never gotten anything 
that wasn't my name on a cup because oh, Ashley's Ashley, pretty common. Yeah. I've had it spelled really odd sometimes. Yeah. Like A-S-H-L-I. Like I was like, yeah, that's not okay. It's like not it's still, it sounds like my name, but like I've seen some really weird. Yeah. Or Ashley with a G yeah, with an H. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ashley with two E's like yeah. just multiple versions of my name. Oh, mine is always so wrong. But yeah. I think the one that made me laugh the hardest was tan. Yeah, literally T A N. I was like, what? <laughs> I think I was either there or you sent me a picture because I remember I was dying. And then I'm like, how did I say like, what's your name? Tan. Like tan. how, how did I answer to get tan? But what I will say is there's been times that I've like mushed your name together too. Yeah. Instead of saying like Taryn and like really pronouncing it, I'd yeah. be like, turn, turn, <laughs> tan, turn. Anyways. Okay. One more. Where did the college aged vampire like to shop? Ooh, college aged vampire at the blood, at the, <laughs> the blood suck, blood sucking <laughs> store. <laughs> no, forever 21. Oh, Get it. that's good. She uh, forever 21. Guys, October series is one of our favorite things. <sighs> Thank you so much for sending in your stories. It is not too late. We are halfway through, but there are still two more episodes, possibly three if we do a. Yeah. If we do a Halloween episode, um, which would be so much fun. So if you guys have stories or you know people that have stories, take this moment. Take this moment right now to call them, text yes. them, whatever. Get them to write in their stories. Um, and be sure to put October series in the title so we know exactly what you know. Yes. we're looking at. And yeah, send them in now. Send them uh -huh. in ASAP. Uh -huh. Get excited. Go watch the promo video. Uh, we're having so much fun over here. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this honestly, like I know quarantine's not like as intense as it was, um, which is good, but we're LA is definitely still taking it pretty seriously. Oh, so serious, so yeah. this has been like the highlight of our lives Seriously, <laughs> this year. So um very excited for this. Um, and yeah. yeah, what should they comment? If you go to our Instagram, we're obviously going to post the videos. What should we have them comment? We did a ghost last time. A sponge. Ooh, sponge sponge that's fun you'll get it when you get there to that's our instagram fun and random kind of not Hint. really <laughs> i know I know, oh, okay. I know okay okay <laughs> guys thank you so much for listening um we'll talk to you guys next week um we love you all so much yes love you bye, bye.